your pee. So a couple years back when I was in college, we had a subject called thermodynamics, which is basically the study of heat, temperature, energy, work, basically the relationship between those things. In thermodynamics, there's this thing called entropy. Now, entropy is actually pretty complicated. There's not just one definition of what it actually is. The definition I'm talking about right now is that the tendency of the universe is towards disorder. Disorder is normal. An order is mostly always artificial or man-made. I don't know if you guys have seen those videos where there's these artists who pick up pebbles from the ground and arrange it into art. See, the natural state is they're just scattered and random, but when you arrange it into an image, it's artificial and man-made. When you stir your yogurt, it mixes everything up, and even if you reverse the direction you stir, it's not gonna rewind and fix itself. Our rooms get dirtier, our house gets messier, you clean it, and in a couple days or hours, it's a mess again. You get a clean cut, you get a nice fade, and in a couple days, your fade's gone. Your hair's a mess. And it's not just all this big stuff. It's actually the same, like, at an atomic level. And it gets pretty complicated, but basically, the atoms and molecules are moving everywhere, right? And when things are heated, the molecules are moving a lot faster, and there's more chaos and disorder. So like when you get a glass of ice cream and you put it on the counter, it melts, right? That's because colder objects have slower moving atoms. And when you move them to a room temperature, the tendency is for the atoms and molecules to start moving quicker and to go towards disorder. I'm not sure if I'm explaining this properly, but that's just what I remember. And they tend to want to equalize or reach an equilibrium. It's like when you're running an air conditioner in your room and you open the door, you feel like all the heat's coming in or all the cold air is going out because it wants to equalize, right? And that's just how it is. That's just natural. But there's actually an appliance that most of us have in our house that actually combats this. It's not natural. It takes electricity and work and energy, but it reverses that. It's the refrigerator. So when I was little, I always thought that refrigerators made things cold. But in college, I learned that what actually happens in a refrigerating system is the refrigerator actually takes the heat from the food or whatever you put in the fridge and it moves it all towards the coils, usually in the back of the fridge, and it dissipates all the heat to our environment, to the room, right? So it's not that it makes it cold, it just sucks the heat out of it. And it takes a lot of work and energy. You know, as humans, we start young and healthy, we have no scars on our body or anything, but as we get older, we start breaking our bones, we start getting back pain, we get scars, we get wrinkles, we get white hair. That's entropy, guys, like we're just decaying, right? And I think that's what's been happening to me mentally. But there's something you can do about it, right? We can eat healthy, we can work out. It's not gonna stop it, but it'll help. And I think it's the same way mentally. And I think my mental health was just decaying because I wasn't doing anything to help it. I need to put in the work, right? Like this room is not gonna clean itself. I have to clean it. My body's not gonna get any healthier. I have to feed it good food and work out. My brain full of negative thoughts and anxiety wasn't helping either. I don't know if any of you guys have read Atomic Habits by James Clear. He has this thing called The Power of Tiny Gains. And he talks about how getting better at something 1% every day within 365 days or a year, you would improve 37 times. And if you get 1% worse every day, within 365 days, you'd be 0 0.03 times worse. And I just think I probably haven't been doing anything to actually help myself, you know?
took them both to the Convini and we hung out. It was good. Definitely should do it more, but as you can see, or I don't know if you can see, but super gloomy outside today. There's no sun. It rained. But yeah, some people said I should go to the gym. Trust me, guys, gym was life when I was in college. You know, I started when I was in high school. Last week, me, Josh, Leah, and Nico went snowboarding and, and Nico brought up the gym and we all agreed, all four of us, that we would start working out. But Josh really ate it on the snowboard. Um, you guys will see it in his vlog. So he can't work out. And I guess without Josh, <laughs> Leah and Nico don't want to work out anymore. I'm probably going to get a membership at Anytime Fitness. That way I can work out in the Philippines or even in Hawaii. But yeah, that's definitely on my list, guys. A lot of people commented about God, about religion, you know. Not just Christianity, there's a comment about Islam. And trust me, I get it. Um, I was born and raised a Christian. Um, and I had faith. I've had solid faith for 26 years of my life. And the past year, I really dove deep. And you guys don't even want to know my struggles with God and my faith. Like, it's crazy, you know? Um, if I talk about it, it would probably be like a two-hour video. So maybe next time I'll make a video about it, summarize my points, but yeah, if there's any Christians out there, I would definitely appreciate you guys are there. Yeah, I'm pulling up to Momo School. I'll be right back. Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> I was waiting in the waiting room. Wait, where are we going? We are gonna go pick up Coco. Wait, is that your old camera, but you got new ones? Yes, ma'am. Shut the mat, eh? I know, baby. No, you don't. I don't trust you. I don't trust the camera. Hey, you're too close. It's not can't see. Oh, there. It sees you. Go. Talk to it. Tell them how your day Wait, was at school. Wait, how do you know? No, you can see it there. Oh. Tell them how your day was at school. My day at school was... I got it to learn how to do... The tetsubo, the tetsubo, the thing that you kick with. What is that? Okay, I'll show you when we drive. Hold on. Now hurry up and drive. Hey, uh. Hey. We're I going like your. This house. I like your umbrella. Thanks. I have Look a. Look at you. I have an umbrella. We're too. going to Baba's house. Hey, hey, hey. Say hiya. Hiya. Where are we going? To Baba's house. Okay, you can just go down. Oh, no, you can just go down. Hey. Okay. What kind of cry is that? <laughs> yeah, guys, I cleaned my room. I decided to maybe try playing the guitar again. Maybe make some music. Started reading my books again. I'm gonna start studying Japanese again. You know, just keep myself preoccupied and busy. I also talked to uh, Leah and Nico. Nico said we can start working out whenever. Leah started doing her Pilates, but she said she's down to work out. So yeah, we're getting things going, guys. Let me know what you guys think about these kind of videos where we just kind of talk. <laughs> I don't know if the normal vlogs where I just film myself doing whatever I do every day is for me. You know, I'm not an interesting person. I don't do things every day, so there's not really much to film. So yeah, I prefer to do these videos, but anyways, let me know guys. I'm gonna go now. Peace.